All right, Shalom. All praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors goes unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me the truth. And much love and peace and blessings goes out to all the hopeful elect that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, I just want to do this quick impromptu lesson while I'm sitting in the car. I don't have my scriptures on hand, but this is just like spiritual thoughts that I was thinking of, man. And um, in order for the comforter or comfort to enter in, there has to be a level of discomfort in your spirit, right? Because that is the point of it all, of the things that we experience in this faith, longing for righteousness, longing for uh, uh, uh a better place, a better position, uh, uh, the hurt and pain we experience from loss, right? Whether it's certain relationships, material things that you lose and it hurts you, it breaks you, so to speak. And that all can be described as discomfort, but that's when it's a perfect fertile ground for the Holy Spirit which is called the comforter to deal with you. So that's why we got to embrace discomfort. We have to embrace chastisement and all the negative that comes with being a servant of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We have to, because then that was enters in the hope and the expectation for the kingdom and the faith. You see what I mean? And that's what you have to, that's what we all have to stick, you know, how did I put it? We all have to stick to it no matter what situation. Like, for example, in the scriptures, when Yahweh Shai first mentioned the Holy Spirit as the comforter was when he was among the apostles after his crucifixion um, for another 40 days and 40 nights. And he was teaching them the breakdowns and the mysteries that they did not understand while they walked with him when he was uh, uh, before he was crucified. Right. And. If I'm not mistaken, he said this right before he was going to depart into the spirit world, right? Where he sits even to this day. And he said, um, the Holy, the, 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 the comforter shall come into you, right? I will not leave you without comfort. And the comforter shall come to you. Matter of fact, if I can find this, uh, 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 Salaki, this is an LT. We could rock with it. We could rock with it for the sake of this video. I want to try to find this just because we going into it. Uh, in the book of Acts. Mm. This is Acts 1 and 1. It says, in my first book, I told you, Theophilus, about everything Yahweh Shai began to teach, began to do and teach until the day he was taken up to heaven after giving his chosen apostles further instructions through the Holy Spirit. During the 40 days after his crucifixion, he appeared to the apostles from time to time, and he proved to them in many ways that he was actually alive, and he talked to them about the kingdom of the Most High. Once when he was eating with them, he commanded them, do not leave Jerusalem until the father sends you the gift as he the gift he promised. As I told you before, John baptized with water, but in just a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when the apostles were with Yahweh Shai, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? Which the answer was no. The answer was no. So what did that mean? They were still under the curses. They suffered. They had to suffer persecution, suffer this and suffer that. It says. Uh, he replied, the father alone has the authority to set those dates and times. 
and they are not for you to know, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching and they could no longer see him as they strained to see him rising into heaven two white robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing here staring into heaven? Yahweh Shai has been taken from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. You see, so that that pretty much goes into the dynamic of the Holy Spirit coming down to deal with the apostles, which is what I was going into. And um, that's why it's 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 uh, it's necessary to go through discomfort. Because that sets up a way for the Holy Spirit to of of his of his function to comfort you in in, in in harsh times. You know? That's the whole that's the whole purpose of the Holy Spirit. Or it's one of his purposes, you know. So that discomfort we go through, it sets it up for something greater. So you can't we can't uh try to wrangle our way out of it. We have to take it for what it is. Now, of course, you know, there's extremes to a hard life or, or just being stoic. Like you just reject all forms of pleasure. You just want to live. You want to sleep on a bed of nails and wake up and drink raw eggs and uh, exercise until your limbs fall off. Like, nah, that's not the type of um, harshness that the Most High prescribed. It's just different things that happen to you as you strive to just be a man, stand on your 10 toes, be his servant, preach the word, you know, take care of your home situation, take care of your family. If you have one, take care of yourself and the brothers. But then still, while you're trying to do that, there's all kind of obstacles that come our way, like physical ailments, like, you know, different disruptions in different forms and ways, losing your job. If you have one, then you got to deal with that for a season and you might get another job. The Lord, you know, it's just like stuff that we deal with. But you know, throughout all that, the thing we have to draw the most uh, inspiration from through our struggles is the scriptures, is the hope in our future. You see what I mean? So, you know, it's the kingdom, baby. This the revenge to our enemies is standing as kings and gods of the earth and our power. Yahweh, Shai, his vibration through the holy scriptures being iterated, man. Because this society is is, is is death. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. It's an illusion of life. We're not supposed to be here living this type of shit. It's a bizarre world. It's, it's barely functionable living, if you want to even call it that. It's surviving. Okay? So with that, all praise goes to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.